All right, so I was scrolling through TikTok last night and I came across this video. Life doesn't end. I know I'm gonna fly. Pfft, so crazy, man. This instantly hit me. Everything about it just sounds so sick. And those vocals are on another level, so I knew I had to sample it. I had a look at the comments too to see if other people were feeling it. And I noticed Russ commenting saying this is platinum. Crazy stuff, man. And I'm guessing a lot of people have sampled it already, but I don't even care. I haven't heard any of them. I just want to do my thing and show you guys how to sample from TikTok. So let's get straight into it. All right, so first of all, I want to show you how to take audio from things like this, and it's actually pretty simple. There's a free Chrome extension called Sample, which I've installed, and all you need to do is name your sample, hit the record button. When you're ready, hit record again, and then just play the sample. When you're done, go back to it and then hit stop. Now you can see it's recorded from your browser. And then all you do here is click there to download it. So I've brought it into FL and now I just need to work out the BPM. So I'm going to make sure I've got the start point. We'll bring that back. I'll just right click on the BPM, click tap, and then I can just tap along with it. Life doesn't end. I know I'm going to fly. Still going to try if I feel every time. So it's around 148. This is going to be perfect for flipping into drill. Doing it that way is going to get you close enough. And then I can just adjust this if I need to. So maybe it's a bit faster. Yeah, so maybe it's around 152. Because he's playing it live, there might be places where it's not perfectly on time. But it looks like it's pretty good here. I could even look at the end here. Yes, yeah, so you can see there's a little gap. So we might need to adjust things manually. What I'm going to do is just cut there, set this to stretch, make sure this is checked. And then I'm just going to hold alt, click and drag until that meets at the end. So yeah, that should loop now. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what it sounds like in a different key. I'm thinking we pitch it up. Even more. Maybe down one. All right, maybe I need to clean it up a bit first. So I'm going to add X noise. This will just take away some noise. Right, that's too much. There. Then I'll just take away some of the lows. Okay, I'm just adding a compressor now. Just taming some of those peaks. All right, next I've added Ozone Imager. And I'm just splitting the bands because I want the high end to be widened. Brought the stereo eyes up and I've got this mode selected. And then with the low end, I'm just going to tame that a bit. Yeah, about there. Alright, next up I want to add a piano underneath this one. Just because there might be a section where I want the piano by itself. So I need to try and figure out the chords. I'll just figure out something that works well with it. So I think the scale is G sharp minor or B major. I just try and hum out the first chord. So I think it's just these two. So I'm hearing B up there as well. So maybe it's this. Could be that. So that sounds right. It doesn't have to be exactly the same notes, but as long as it sounds right. And back to this. I can pitch these down an octave. Just randomize the velocity and then just strum them. I could hit Alt and S to strum them. It does change at the end though. So I'm going to copy this. So I think it's going up to G sharp. So we'll just build the chord from G to see if it's right. So just skipping every other note. Mm, maybe this actually. I've pitched it up an octave though. Adds a nice high into it. Okay, then I've decided one more layer of that. With a different preset. It's more of a pad. I just think they work well together, but I need those two pianos to sound a bit more like the sample. So I'm going to add some RC20, or maybe I could add everything to that and just send them all to the same bus. So yeah, I've got the sample, the two pianos, and they're all rooted here. Just 
just brings it together a bit more. All right, I want to try something because I want to add some reverb to the vocals. I don't really want to affect the piano in it. So what I'm going to do is add a frequency splitter. And then I'm also going to side chain it to an empty track. So now I can send the mids and the highs there. Turn them off here. And what's going to happen is track six is just going to be the high end. And then I could add the reverb here. And then I can just adjust this. So yeah, this is the low end. And this is the high end. I could even add some Pan Man to this. I think Pancakes are free plugin. So yeah, the vocals are going between both ears now. Yeah, that sounds hard. All right, and I know this is a lot of layers, but I've got one more layer of the grand piano, and this is down an octave. So we've got one, two, three, and then the sample. All right, next up, I'm thinking a layer of strings just to play in one section like a bridge. And I like the sound of these baked pop strings in Analog Lab. Okay, so I've just brought some of them a bit more in time. And then just change this section. Alright, I think last thing for the sample is just going to be a sub bass. So I've gone to my Aurora drill bank using the gritty sub bass, my favorite one. Yeah, here we go. All right. All right, I think the sample's ready now, so let's get some drums in. Okay, so before we get into the drums, I just wanted to remind everyone about the Cactus Creators Club I'm launching on the 10th of August. If you don't know what it is yet, it's a community I'm growing where members receive exclusive tutorials, monthly drops, the FL project files to the beats I'm making these videos, live sessions with me, and way more. Right now, you can get 50% off your membership for live by pre-ordering it using the link in the description. But this offer is going to end in 10 days when everything goes live, so if you are interested in it, definitely check out the link in the description and let's get back into the video first of all i'm going to go to my splice kit and i think i want to use the slices one I might slow this down a bit as well let's go to like 144 something like this yeah hard let's copy that Add one more. Here we go. All right, we'll grab a rim too. Add a double one there. Just copy that. All right, now I'm gonna go to my hardest kit, the Divine Bundle, go to the Chaos Drum Kit. I wanna see which one sounds best. Yeah, something like this. Keep changing my mind with the 808. These type of beats just need that perfect sound. Maybe I could go back to the posted one. This one sounds hard. Yeah, don't always talk much when I'm doing the eight weights. It's concentration time. All right, let's grab an open hat. Thinking this reverse one, but we'll make some of them shorter. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe one more, just long one at the end. All 
All right, I'm going to grab a hi-hat in as well. And this is just more for filler notes. Sounding mad. Right, I'm thinking maybe some kind of perk like this, and then when the counter snare stops, that can come in. All right, we'll grab some kind of hit like this. Just add some delay to that too. Alright, let's grab a riser as well. Just bring that on time. Riser is hard. Alright, that's almost enough. So I'm going to split this pattern. Any last minute effects I can add when I arrange it. So that can be a verse, but in this section, I need to take that and bring it over. Same with that, just because we don't have that same ending. So yeah, I could just start with the sample. And then in this section, bring the sub in. Maybe I start with the sub. And then bring the counter in. And then the riser. Yeah, this is all crazy. I think with this one though, it needs to sound a bit different. Yes, yeah, so we could do that and then just automate it so it gradually comes off. I think it might not even need that bongo perk. I think it's too much. And I'll save the hat for the second half. All right, so in this section, don't think I need the riser in the middle, but we can have it at the end like this. And then we can just cut a few things. And then yeah, just cut everything here too. Yeah, bring the keys back in. All right, and then what I could do is just take this bit. Still have this playing. This beat's actually hard, man. And then, yeah, bring the sub back in as well. Cut all of these. Yeah, this is the one, man. All right, last thing, it's just a fast riser from my Love and War kit. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So yeah, just starting with the sample down an octave and the counter snare. break of the drums and then I just cut the eight weight as well and we got the keys so I left the verse pretty open the sample just makes it man and then yeah now we got a bridge so if you're feeling this one and you want to see me flip more samples, then click up here. Or if you want to see me cook up from scratch, click up here.